Okay, so I just want to apologize in advance for the poor quality of this video. I am recording this one-handed because one, I was too excited and two, I just I just did not want to be bothered to try to set everything up right now. Um, and also I'm still a bit sick, so um, that's why my voice is going to sound a little off. But my fairy loot editions of Crescent City finally came in today. <coughs> and I can't wait to open it. First of all, these versions are massive. Like, they are big. Like, Crescent City is already a huge series. But these are almost the same size. And um, House of Sky and Breath was way bigger than Earth and Blood. And yet, they're pretty much the same size in hardback. So that's interesting. Um... But yeah, let's just go ahead and dive in. Um, I don't remember what features it really comes with. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and take the wrapping off and I will be right back. So let me just preface this by saying the battle for these editions was pure insanity. Um, I don't even remember if they went to public sale or not. I honestly goodness don't think they did because just in the subscriber sale it was insane the site literally crashed like over six times just when i was trying to get my editions um <coughs> and i'm pretty sure it got to the point where they had to reinstall the queue system and it still crashed a bit um but eventually you know whatever happened happened um i was lucky enough to get a copy um they are not signed they do come with this ingrained signature on each book um, all I know is it's going to be super expensive getting the rest of the series since they only did the first two. And I don't remember if it's going to be beyond trilogy or not. But, um, fairy loot shipping for individual books is expensive. So whenever they do individual editions, I try not to get them too often. Um, but when it's a series I really love, it's hard to say no. Um, alright, so. <coughs> These are the edges for the first book. Um, I do remember them showing these, as well as the cover and the back. We all know what the spine looks like. That was, we could already see that. Um, oh my gosh. Bryce and Danica. This is gorgeous. I don't know who the artist for this is. Um, but these end papers are absolutely stunning and I already have no regrets because wow. Oh, and I forgot it came with, um, character art on the cover. So here we have Bryce. Wow. <coughs> this is gorgeous. Like it's been so long since a special edition of a Sarah J Mass book was allowed that I see why people went insane for these but oh my god these are beautiful but wow these are thick yeah so there's going to be four books right which means we have two more of these to fight for um, the lettering isn't really small or anything, it's normal size, so I'm not quite sure how it ended up being this massively thick, but <coughs> I don't know if it comes with bonus chapters or anything, I don't think so. I don't think it came with any, yeah, it does not come with any, like, of the bonuses. Um, but here we have Bryce and Rune. Bryce. Why did I say Bryce Hunt? Wow. This honestly makes me so excited to see what they did for book two. Because I know they had to do my boy Tharian, okay? They had to. Um... I am a little sad that we didn't get our favorite little fairy sprite, fire sprite. 
at least somewhere here next to Bryce or something. Just as like a little like hi. Don't forget me. Um not gonna spoil anything for anybody that has not read it. Um but these do come with ribbon bookmarks, which I do love. Um <coughs> because oftentimes I have so many bookmarks and sometimes I forget to actually use them. So Let's try to shake this out. Give me one second. All right, so here we have book two. They did stick with the color scheme of the originals, um, which is the red and the blue. So I'm excited about that. Again, same. <clears throat> same prints. On this cover, we have Hunt. Nice. I do remember seeing this um, and the Through Love All Is Possible um, from their little teasers. And here we have Bryce in all her glory and Hunt with his freshly cut hair. Yes! So we do get Tharian. Yay! These end pages are really good. Like, I'm loving these end papers. And look how it, like, folds completely over. I love that. Like, I always get worried, even with hardbacks, that I'm going to damage them um, if, I, if I bend the spine too far back. Which I kind of feel like that now with these. Um, even though I see it's sewn in. But, like... I don't know if I want to break these in. <laughs> these might just forever be collectibles. Um, I see a little tiny <coughs> damage here, but nothing that like I would fuss over. Um, all in all, I think these are lovely additions. Um, for the price, they are ridiculously expensive. Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was almost. I want to say like maybe 150 or something like that. Like it was a lot. <coughs> and that's not including the shipping. Um, I guess because it, they each came with their own individual case um, with the signed imprint. But either way, I'm pretty sure it was mostly just because of the licensing fees for it being a Sarah J. Mass book. Um, and the fact that she does not allow special editions anymore. Um, overall... <coughs> I would say gorgeous editions, gorgeous book, very overpriced, but I know I was going to regret it if I didn't get my hands on them, so I'm so glad that I did.